Well, it's the JK Round Podcast. Yes, and we interrupt your regularly scheduled week without us to give you a little something special. <laughs> surprise! Surprise, surprise before comedy. Monday. Yeah. The surprise comedy. We're bits. trying something new. Something's fresh and fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's a new year. I know we're a few weeks into it, but it's it's a new year. It's a new thing that we, we like to do. Yeah, it's for us. It's for the kids, and it's for In the adults. Way. In a big way, it's for the kids. And what we're doing is we're breaking down... Uh, we've said we're taking the magic out of comedy, but we want to yeah. do this on... We've done it on a macro level. We want to do it on a micro level. Micro level. level. We're going to take one specific thing, and we'll, we'll come to you every now and then, maybe with a, a particular bit or a mm. joke or a skit or mm. a, a scout. And or a sketch or a sketch. And really show you why it's funny, how it's funny. And, and Joel had stumbled upon just a treasure trove lately right. and he said Kevin you have to hear this song well there's this group and a lot of you will have heard of them it's it's a group called Yulvis and they do a song called What Does the Fox Say now yeah. that isn't funny no that's just a serious song yeah that's just something that would like to uh, that's uh, become dance huge to... it's got like 34 million yeah or billion views yeah 34 billion 34 billion and everyone's in love with this and it and and it's it's kind of like uh, when Gangnam Style got big, and yep. they go, who are these wacky, you know, foreigners, this time European, not Asian, Yeah, doing this kind of dancey song. Um, and and what is this? What what? All of a sudden, it's a craze. It's now. silly, it's wacky, yeah. but it's not funny. And, and, and that exactly. is a very important distinction. Yes, and we should point that out. Gangnam yeah. Style, as funny as it might seem on the outside, mm. it's, is, just silly. it's just a silly song. It mm-hmm. just has a lot of uh, bumpy parts that people can move to. A lot of those words, like we know Gangnam Style, we, we know what the word style means. Yeah. Gangnam we don't know what it means. We don't know what it means, but, but we, we know that word now. And now we know. But that all the it other means. stuff that's going on, you don't. It doesn't even make any sense. No, and it shouldn't, and it shouldn't no. have to because no. it's not there to make us think or Com- to make us laugh. Comedy. What's funny makes sense. Comedy makes sense. Silly stuff doesn't have to make doesn't sense. Doesn't make sense. Um, and that's what the what does the fox say thing? It's a lot like that. Ding ling ling ding ling ding. It's silly. It's nonsensical garbage, mm-hmm. uh, but hey, the public seems to like it. They and, love it, and the people with those little brains, right. you know, it does the zip thing to them. Yep, right. They, they go they get that buzz, and then, whoa, what's mm. this? And, and now all of a sudden, I'm in a better reality. And it literally dingling dings into their heads. Yeah, and they go, man, I like this, and I want to get up and dance. Yeah, I feel the dingling fox right up on me. Yeah, but good news. There's other stuff. Yeah, Yilvis has done a hilarious song, and we want to play it for you, and not and in its entirety, but line by line, and just stop. break down the comedy. Comedy, because there is comedy to be found here, oh, and yeah. we want to point this out, oh, that yeah. while they you know, start as serious musicians, they are now a comedy duo, mm-hmm. and we're going to show you uh, the song. It's I Joel's. don't know if it was people were going, uh, boy, this is funny, This what, what, what does mm-hmm. the fox say, wrongly. Because right. it's silly, but people are going. I find this funny, and uh, and they're going. Well, I guess we're funny. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, it, yeah. whatever their well, language is. Oh, well, but what means? Yeah. I guess we're funny now. Yeah. Let's take advantage of this. And they started making funny songs. And they make funny, and they make boy, funny. they do funny well. They sing the funny. They do, and I, and I, and for our students, we're going to tell you why it's funny. Yeah, a lot of you will already know. Some yeah. of you won't, and that's what we're doing this for. Exactly. Some of you people will be going, I love what does the fox say. I thought that was funny. We're going to show you a really funny... What's well, really funny, yeah. so that you know that that's not actually funny. That's yeah. just a th- uh, that's thing. Just silly. That's just silly yeah. stuff. So let's just, let's just get right into it. And uh, I've got the song up here. And you can find it on uh, iTunes, and you can also, uh, you can also find it find it uh, on the internet on the internet you can download you can find it on youtube you can download their album we you know it'll be them. on the blog attached to this post yeah too. and so this song is called massachusetts which is about massachusetts the state it's a state uh one of the united one of the states, states. Of the united states it's not in our, na- our not in our nation it's in the nope. nation of far away across the oceans an undiscovered paradise now we should just say right now it's not yeah. funny. No, right now right it's now. build this up is like and you're thinking, up. okay, well, uh, w- this sounds epic. This sounds right. very mysterious. What's mysterious. this paradise? Undiscovered. Yeah, so paradise. it's big. It's big. 
it's already big. And and, yeah. and for a joke like this, because you're gonna see the joke. Yeah, it's about to it, happen. It's gonna get big. Um, right now, it's not. Right now, it's, it's not. You just see just some people setup. looking a at a magazine. Setup. Some people are pointing at you know other famous places. Oh yeah, there's a whole video. And you're wondering. You gotta watch this video. It's, it's a great thing. video. Yeah, it's but a video you, nothing is really there. funny in the video either at this point. Not not at this point. That's what we'll I was tell saying. you when actually we'll t- what you'll know what we'll tell you the we'll time exactly that you could actually start watching yeah. it that it actually becomes funny. But right now it's it's just a setup, and it's I don't not, know if you need the setup for the for the. We'll decide. Work. We'll decide. We'll figure that out when the joke, when the when the, when the funny hits. happens. Yeah, okay. Funny. So anyway, here we go. Get New York and California. Remember that New York. He said, "Forget New York forget and California." It. Remember, those are very those popular are states. Big uh, city uh, places. Yeah, those are huge for people to be in. Yeah, exactly. So they're hard to forget. So they're it's kind of kind of getting funny because wait, why? Forget New York and California. Those are two uh, of places that I the know. Some biggest places. Yeah, I've heard of those. Hold on. There's a better place, now close your eyes. Is this place going to be behind your eyes? Yeah, We don't it? know yet. This is know. a mystery. And, it, and people coming. should learn that in, in when you're doing comedy, you can confuse people as much as you want in mm-hmm. the setup. Yeah. And you can add all sorts of mystery, and it's good storytelling in a way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but just don't forget the funny. But don't forget the don't funny. Don't forget the funny. And guess like... what? The funny is going to hit harder if people are a bit discombobulated, yeah, discombobulate that, everything. Discombobulate, and then and then you'll get them with an earth-shattering yeah. lampoon mm-hmm. when you hit them with the surprise comedy. And then you can recombobulate. Yeah, you got to combobulate. After. Yeah, exactly. Take my hand. We are almost there. Our favorite place on earth. See now. Now he's not just said it in America; he said it on Earth. On Earth, so this is this is bigger than building, New York, building, and building. California. Yeah. This is bigger than Paris. This it's almost bigger, bigger than, than Earth. It's becoming the best place on, on Earth. Earth. So yeah, you know. Okay, so now this and you musically, this is you don't have to do this in your telling haha funny jokes. Mm-hmm. Musically, they've built up my favorite place on Earth. What's it going to be? Now, yeah. there's anticipation galore here. Yeah, and you can tell. Uh, they're going to tell you. Mm-hmm. They're going to say it. Yeah, Maybe we should... what, this is going to be the punchline. Are you ready for it? Uh, all right. You, everyone's going to enjoy it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Massachusetts. It's the 14th biggest state. See, funny. That's the, now it's funny. <laughs> funny. Now it's funny. Okay, if you're not laughing at this that's point, a, you, I don't know what. You, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you're, you're, you go back okay. and listen to it all if you haven't been laughing yeah. right now. You're gonna want to listen to it all. As, he all said, as Massachusetts. Thing. Massachusetts. The it's 14th. the 14th biggest state. Now I left that part in because Massachusetts itself is funny, but why? Mm-hmm. Well, because it's the 14th biggest state. Yeah. Okay. That's um, not much of a claim to fame. No, I mean. Okay, so this is the this is. Let's just break it down. Yeah, uh, this is not the best place on earth. No. Okay. To, uh, in I this mean, guy's opinion, not, it is. But that's why it's funny. That's why it's funny because he's making it look like right. it is. But being fourteenth biggest is not as good as being tenth biggest or mm. eighth biggest. Mm-hmm. Usually, you you talk about being number one, maybe even number two, uh, right. if it's something that's very competitive, like cheese grating. But Mm. The fact that it's 14th biggest is not, yeah, it's kind of a shrug. But when you right. say it big, when you have all that buildup and mystery and then say it big, Massachusetts is probably the last thing on a lot of people's minds. Right. Now you look at the video and you're seeing that they're they're literally sitting in front of just like Bank of America. There's a house. Mount, there's nothing stimulating visually here. Yeah. There's, and that's what's also so funny. Yeah. Is it's just a place. It's very blank. And mm. yet they sound like they're in heaven. Right. Heaven on earth. Exactly. And yeah. that's where the funny is. Yeah. And it's working and it works for me. Now let's see if they can carry this because this is now by the way, that joke happened around forty s- seconds. It's forty three yeah. seconds now. So, so around around 40. So if you want to just jump right to the, the punchline, Massachusetts, you, you can. It's go, about go forty for seconds. Yeah. Maybe then you'll start seconds. laughing instantly. Yeah, then you'll be right there with the and joke. Stop wasting your forty seconds. Yeah, exactly. This has been viewed six billion times. That's a lot of billions. Yeah, this is a very popular, but it and, and it should be. It's very funny. Yeah. Just four hours from New York. Read amazing books for free at the Boston Library. Or try the local <laughs> Okay, you didn't see the video. Things. Okay, 
Okay, let's. We should have stopped it maybe at certain lines. Is, is that, this, we can we can remember. We could go them by. Uh, so um, it's four hours from New York. Right. Again, bringing back other places that, that are, popular, are popular that you yeah. think you know you might want to visit if you ever go. Oh, to it's the, only four America. hours from New York, which we love. Then yeah. we could go to Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> which why would you? Yeah. Really? Uh, guess what? You can read books for free in any library. Yeah. It, lo- not there just are a the lot Boston of the library. Yeah. There are a lot of libraries. Although. In the world. They might have missed a bit of thing because that's a beautiful looking library. They showed the, vi- it the video. It was very nice. I would read a book different. That, that, that if is it's almost free, worth then it. yeah. there you go. And if you've and had, there was some tasty cheese at the end, the brie cheese. The brie cheese. Now, what I think was funny there, and once mm-hmm. again, you got to watch this video. Yes. Because the guy makes a funny face where he's just like immersed in this brie. Yeah, he loves the brie. And yeah, yeah he just looks like a normal dude. Maybe mm-hmm. a bit of a musician type. He has long yeah. hair and, and kind of scruff hair. face. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. he's sitting there and just loving, just loving this the brie. cheese. And brie is a good cheese, but I mean, you know, you're going to Massachusetts to try to l- the yeah. local brie. It's just It's funny. just funny. It's just you funny because you, you shouldn't have to... You can send away for that brie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. Nowadays, with the world, could, the internet, and the you can shipping, Amazon it. You can do it on Amazon, go. and you don't need to go to Massachusetts to to actually to get, have that to get brie. Breeze. So it's very funny. All right, Fair. And this is and this has been like five jokes already in, in within one course. a minute. Yeah, and yeah, and the course isn't even done. No. Well, th- I think this is another setup. Yeah, I think so because you're thinking, well, that that's a good thing having lots mm-hmm. of cultures hand in hand, and like, is this for real? Yeah, if is that's it really a melting, a melting pot? pot we've like heard that? New York is a melting pot. Sure, and we've heard Canada is a melting pot mm-hmm. from somewhere, but, I guess. Um, now, but, there's many cultures hand in hand here in Massachusetts. Maybe not. Maybe you that's know, maybe not it's a lot a very white uh, culture. We don't know. But I don't know yet. This is a setup, I think. Um, maybe this is more of an inside joke too. Yeah, if other if people you're already know about Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't. I didn't. These lines, I didn't find them so hilarious. These they're, last two, they're lines. funny but they're not funny, hilarious. Mm-hmm. But nope, let's see what nope happens. The difference. Yeah, and maybe that's because we're lacking in some knowledge. It's funnier when you're it's from funny there. If you know it. Yeah. So let's see what happens. So many coaches hand in hand in I think that what was funny there was mm-hmm. that when he sings in perfect harmony, there's a picture of a white guy with no top on, yeah, with a hose and just sad just a normal looking. guy, and then another guy sitting on a porch. He's white as well. Yeah, and there's really no connection or anything happening. Nothing mm-hmm. that he's describing is actually happening visually, mm-hmm. and so you're left thinking, <laughs> I, d- I don't think he's telling me the truth. Now, I, it, it's a very funny song, and you can listen to it and 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 laugh. But you, the, watching the video makes it even funnier. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you so you can download it on iTunes, but yeah, you can I don't know YouTube why it you on would. YouTube as well. You, I would do the YouTubing because yeah, that that's where a lot there's a lot of visual jokes. So now, but maybe there's going to be a better punchline here. Who knows? Yeah, they're all there yeah. in perfect harmony. What's going to happen? Let's see. Welcome to the Massachusetts land of a thousand tribes. Homeowners on Mandela fuck the appetite. <laughs> Right now, okay. that's that's a twist. <laughs> now we got okay. We got some uh, African rhythms going yes, on. Okay. Very multicultural. Uh, and you start to believe the melting pot theory. Yeah. Now and these laugh. guys, <laughs> watch, watch the video because these guys are now bouncing across a uh, um, just uh, bounce some dancing property, with, bounce with, dancing with some uh, very funnily Af- dressed black people. Yep. All these and with the African style and the, the funny African hats, dance, the funny robes. It's real funny. And they're out in front of Nelson Mandela's house who I guess lives in a Massachusetts. Big mansion. A big mansion. mansion. And then they of course swear. Yep. Um which in this case is funny because they're, they're saying f the apartheid. Ap- ap- apartheid. 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 Which was in South Korea um the separation of black people. Yeah. And white people. And white people. It's just bad guy laws that were outlawed yeah. uh, back in the days. Yeah. They, uh, and then, of course, uh, this character named Rosa Parks yep. um, sat at the front of the bus and said, I'm not 
going to move to the back of the bus. That's right. And she said, and I think she married Nelson Mandela. Yeah. And then he was sent to jail because she wouldn't sit at the front, at the back of the bus. That's right. So all this stuff, all this stuff plays hand in hand. And then eventually now fast forward and Rosa Parks' last name was Daisy. And she gets a white guy to drive her around, and they made yeah. a hilarious movie about hilarious that. And movie. Ackroyd. Mm-hmm. So anyway, they, yeah. I love this kind of joke because all that's built into that. Yeah, it's all there. It's all uh, history, mm. and you get to be a part of it's this rich. spunky little history dance. So we see, welcome to Massachusetts, and these people are bouncing around. It's all light and fluffy, mm-hmm. but underneath is where the funny is. You know, yep. all that rich heritage. And a little bit of knowledge is just dropped in your head. And you're like, I do remember yeah. when Nelson Mandela went to fight the apartheid in jail exactly. after Rosa Parks was mm-hmm. on the bus. And married that beautiful Rosa Parks Daisy. And, mm-hmm. uh, and started making movies. And until started making all the, these great movies, yep. all these yep. comedies. Yep. Come on, boys. Well, that will borrow. Hello, 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 hello. Catholic priests of Haver Hill. Now, I don't know if any of these are true things. Yeah. They, it looks they like there's some be, Boy Scouts. I think it's a little tongue-in-cheek as how would you get that many Catholic priests just hanging out on one specific and, location. And Haverhill doesn't even sound American. It doesn't it sounds sound like a British. It sounds place. Irish or something. Or Irish. Uh, Haver. Yeah. Welcome uh, to Haverhill. Haverhill. Welcome to Haverhill. So I, I don't know if these are legitimate places. And then watch the... Video because yeah. they're in a pub and they're drinking. Priest wa- in a pub drinking. drinking. Priest walks into the That's, bar. Uh, yeah, I mean that and joke's there right there visually. And then they they make a funny face and then it screen captures them. Boom! And it sings Haverhill. Haverhill. And you picture right is this the priest singing it? Like did they get the priests of this Haverhill place singing along? Yeah. And is this even yeah, a real place? Like you, there's so many questions and. Comedy is a, sometimes it's comedy questions. Comedy is a series of questions a lot mm. of times that there are no answers to except for laughter. That yeah, becomes the, the answer. answer and to a lot every of question. tragedies, the answer is laughter. Mm-hmm, because um, uh, if you can't laugh, you're going to cry. Yep. My grandma mm. says that all the time. Yep. Firing dogs off the Suffolk <laughs> County. Local dance group of Pangreville. Okay. Now, Pingreville <laughs> is, again, another one of these places. Oh, I don't know if it's real. Is that not. real? And then the, the staring dogs of Suffolk County. Suffolk is another is in England. Okay. That I know. That's for sure. But, like, how is there Geography. a group of dogs just, that just stare? That's made that's up. That's something to see. And that's That's funny. not a thing, right? Yeah. Exactly. You, do you stare at the dogs? It's they funny stare because, you? yeah, I mean, what is so great about seeing dogs that stare? They stare, yeah. Usually you want to see dogs that do things, maybe do Kept a trick. Fetch a stick. A fetch a frisbee. Even fetching a frisbee would or be better than fetching staring. a ball. Yeah. So, I mean, they're down, they're, they're up playing a lot of things that are not really Big. that impressive. Yeah. And that's along the same lines that's of the I, whole Exactly. Concept of the song. And that's really funny. And this Pingreville dancers. I mean, when you look at them again, you need to see the video. Uh, This is a visual joke. A well, bunch of people are guys mostly that don't look like they could be very good dancers. Well, that and you also heard them go five, six, seven in the high pitched voice, and there's just this big old fat bearded man yeah. sitting there, and you'd imagine him going five, six, seven, eight, but it's a high pitched. It's a high thing. voice instead of so that's a, a juxtaposition, do, do, uh, low manly voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that's funny, and then they—it looks like they just jump in place. That that they kind of capture them in that. That's not much of a dance group, but they right. are a uh, thing. And, and they're they all, all dressed the same. Yeah, red shorts, black yeah. top. It's funny. It's it funny. is funny. It makes me laugh. <laughs> I like it. Living side by side in the state of hope So. Everyone living side by side. Now, I think the joke there is in the state of hope and dreams, because it's mm-hmm. singular hope and dreams, yeah. plural, because usually it's hopes and dreams. Yeah. But there's now there's just one, one hope yeah. and many dreams. But like, but I, I don't, either these people don't get it that there's a lot of different hopes you can have. Yeah. There's not just one hope that we all subscribe to. But I'd like to think it's a little bit of comedy put in there. I think it making is. Making you think that people only have one, one hope. hope. And they don't, you don't even know what that one hope and, is. And in this particular state, one is it, <laughs> Is Single this, hope. Is it? Yeah. It's a wordplay joke. It's a wordplay because there's not a lot of other things to play with your words there. Right. And so they're, and then build up to. Massachusetts. I can 
believe this place is real. Can't describe the way I feel. So. Again, just with the Same hyperbole, mm-hmm. uh, just saying, I can't believe this place is real. Can't he's now feel. he's now saying what we have been feeling all the way up to this. Is this real? Are these places real? Are these people right. real? Exactly. So he's, he's kind expressing of expressing that. In he's punchlining. It's a subtle thing. It's not as yeah. funny as the first yeah, time. No. But you know, it, it's a course. It's a song. You're mm-hmm. you're allowed to do that. There's some. You're given some leeway that way in musical comedy yeah. Yeah. to be able to hmm, repeat the joke a bit. Just add a little bit of extra humor. Especially in a song, because songs are very repetitive. Yes, of course. They have to be. They have to be. There's nothing, there's no other choices. You Mm -hmm. have to be repetitive. You have to say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. And it's funny. Yep. Um, So then he gets funny here. um, I'll live with Steve and John, Mark and Christopher and Tom, Daddy P and Bruce. So he lives with a bunch of guys. There's a bunch of guys. He's and pointing them all out. He walks around and just a bunch of normal guys. Yeah. Uh, aged. Teddy P, the funny thing there is he's Asian. And he's brushing and his he's teeth. he's brushing his teeth. Yeah, now that's, that's real funny. funny. Yeah. And then the last one, this Bruce this guy. Bruce. He's just sitting there on a bed. He's got a beard and he's bald. And then they just have a shot of him just sitting there kind of smiling. And it just, it it's stays just on, funny. It stays on him. For, yeah, it just stays just a, a bit longer bit, just than Just a little you think. bit too long. Yeah. And that makes that shot funny. And that's funny. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there, and I'm, when I'm watching this, I'm laughing. and and Because yeah. cause it's a lot of information that you wouldn't put in a song, typically. Uh-huh. You just live with a bunch of guys uh-huh. in a house. The house isn't Why even that great. That? Just, yeah. It's just a, like, what is it, a rooming house? Yeah. Are these guys, like, amazing football players yeah, or like, something? Is this, or is, is, are they all part of the band? Because, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of instruments going on. Maybe these guys all... Yeah, maybe part they're of all, this. Maybe are, yeah, they're the king, uh, the kings together, right. all at once in the Elvis band. In the Elvis band, yeah. This is like Elvis. But These are all questions that you end up asking yourself if you think too hard about it. But in the in it the hurts. moment, it's just like <whistles> that's funny. A bunch of funny guys, a mm-hmm. bunch of guys, and it, it, it's just it's just neat to see that. <laughs> two hits. There's two hits there. The famous Massachusetts Bay. I've never heard of it. Never heard of <laughs> I it. I don't know if anyone just else like, in the world has. Just like, uh, what was it? Uh, Yelvis Hills or whatever. What, no, that's the band name. The, the whatever band is Hills. Yelvis. The Happy Hills. The Haver Hills. Hills. Haver Hills. Haver Hills. Never heard of it. Never heard of that one. All, all these famous landmarks that no one cares about. There, and that's the no joke. one knows. Then he goes, the home of J.F. Kennedy. Now, Day instead of D. Bay and K rhyme. That is a rhyme. But Bay and Kennedy don't rhyme because mm-hmm. you're E and A. Now, no. he has to change Kennedy to Kennedy to rhyme with Bay. Yeah. Why didn't he just go home of JFK? Yeah. That's the funny. Exactly. Okay? Because the he went funny to the effort to change To change it. something he didn't have, have to. Exactly. Okay? We would have known what he meant if he said JFK. Mm-hmm. But he didn't do that. No. He said J of Kennedy, all. which Ken- Kennedy does sound funnier. Mm-hmm. You know, that and it's, so a, it's a verbal mix up. It's a exactly. verbal uh, hilarity. Mm-hmm. So he's he's done something there in a subtle way. Just which, subtle silly. Yeah. A subtle silliness. Just, well, subtle funny. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not so silly as it is. Well, it is silly, but it's funny. Yeah. It's both. It's Sometimes they can be both. Sillies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The tragic and again, funny. He, he talked about JF Kennedy, who and tragically was shot. Ooh, just comes out of nowhere right. because that doesn't relate to is that Massachusetts. A non, is that a non sequitur? It's a it's a non something or other. Non songwitter. Sure. Yep. Because it's it's just out of that. Mm, what? Oh, now we're sad. Yeah. All of a sudden, boom, tragedy. Yeah. And you can do that in music, and I love that. Mm-hmm. And just drop something. Just drop a bomb. Yep. Comedy bomb. Grab a friend and rent a car. Drive and drive across the Massachusetts. So now he's in a truck with a with a buddy. Yeah. And they're driving, driving across. And I think the biggest joke here is is putting the word the in front of Massachusetts. Driving, the Massachusetts. Yeah. Dri- why, why would you do that? It's it's just a state. It's just called Massachusetts. Yeah. You don't have to say the Massachusetts. We I mean, know. That's cute. Yeah. And that's funny, but. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's, it's wordplay. Let's be real. You know? 
So now this is a good question for you. They're they're sort of st- stepping on sort of a gay thing here. Uh-huh. They're saying you know we're just platonic friends, and but we're just friends. It's a thin line between friends yeah. and and lovers. Are you coming on to me? No, no. I'm just saying like, c- <clears throat> can you speak to that? Yeah. Um, um, you know, is gay again, funny? You is know, gay that, that, funny? I think that's what this is. I mean, we know that where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, today. It is and it isn't because, I mean, if kids in the hall have taught us anything, Mm -hmm. then yes, it is funny. But if uh, the suffragettes for gay uh, marriage have taught us anything, we know it's also very serious. So it's this uh, sort of juggling act that we see happening in this video here where they mention that there is a line and they don't want to have people think that there's some sort of uh, anything happening between these two in a romantic situation. Right. And they clarify that. And again, to me, I think what they're doing here is that we never once questioned if that was going to be a thing. Like, we don't right. care. And all of a sudden they mention it. Yeah. And it seems useless to, to even mention that. Yeah. Why are you – What do? You, uh, is there something that is going on in you that's making you feel – that you have to they clarify have to that you're not that. gay. Yeah. You know, like is there something that you, like, are you in a homophobic sense yeah. going, hey, I'm not gay, guys. Yeah. Uh, guys, I mean, I'm not gay. I already didn't think you were. You didn't need to yeah. say that. I, I mean, he's sitting in a truck. There's nothing more manly than this. There's yeah. nothing nothing more heterosexual than this. Sitting, sitting in a blue truck with an older gentleman. Yeah. Uh, and they're sitting and staring at a factory. Just the two of them. Yeah, now, a, he's a younger guy. He's good looking. He's yeah. got He's built. You know, he, you know, he's got a nice face on him and a great singing voice and, and a nice mm-hmm. frock of curly hair. Yeah. I mean, this is a young guy that, you know, he could be, you know... Anybody would probably like to have him as like a rent boy or something sure, like that. Sure. So maybe he feels okay. Don't get any ideas. This older guy, you're not really thinking about him, and he and he's not. It's not like they're dressed in drag. It's not no, like they're yeah, dressed up in overt. It. No, yeah, they exactly. look very manly. Yeah. So this just is a very heterosexual, just dudes hanging out sort of yeah. situation. But they still mention it, like you say, and that seems like they're overcompensating, which overcompensation mm-hmm. is always funny, and uh, it, you know, and they're just sitting there. So. You know, we're nothing more than friends. Yeah. And it's a thin, thin line, though. It's a thin, thin line, you know? as they point out. And then that gets me thinking, Kevin. I live with, you know, Teddy P and Bruce and all the rest of it. And you're like, there's oh, a lot guy. of guys in the house. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait. Is there something subversive that's been going on this whole time? You know, we're here at 2.30, you know, two two minutes, 30 seconds. And we're going, hmm. 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 Let's see what happens. All right. Just So now we've suddenly cut to a lot of hot che- cheerleaders. cheerleaders, and they're spelling out Massachusetts, yeah, and they're cute. And the the other thing now we got to mention we when they did the chorus last time we had a black uh, yeah. African choir, yeah, their gospel choir, their belt in Massachusetts. This is a big production. Watch the yes, video. This is big. It's a huge production. You can hear the quality of the recording. It's a very good visual thing. And it looks great. And and why are they doing this for Massachusetts? Is that really what it is, or is it for comedy? Well, it is for comedy. It is. But the comedy, comedy is that they're doing it for Massachusetts. Of course. I mean, we're breaking it down here, and it's yeah. gonna kind of do a mind thing of for people mm-hmm. that we just said that, mm-hmm. but. You know that's what's happening, but let's hear the. Let's see. The, let's I mean, you got. You should watch what? this. But yeah, they're basically just... spelling out Massachusetts. That's an old. I don't know if you were paying attention, mm-hmm. uh, listeners, students. I don't think they spelt it correctly. No, it was okay. a lot of jumbled letters. A lot of there. letters. And these girls were just like, and they're like right and I mean, now. Double on, K? Really? Yeah, that doesn't double happen K? in Massachusetts. No. So they're on, stepping on, hold on top of each other, being pushed up on, in, in a field. You've yeah. got to watch the video. So, yep. yep. See, and he even mentions he mentions the thing about the K's. There's a yeah. lot of K's. Wait, that's too many and K's. Funny, guys. he points that out. One of the uh, girls that was one of those cheerleaders actually mouthed Massachusetts. Masso- 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 
I never noticed that before. And I'm like, so they're going, that's funny. Yeah. Because, yeah. You, you know, this girl's got it so wrong. They know it's Massachusetts, but they're, they got it so wrong that they're still mouthing Massachusetts. They have to. And, um, by the way, yeah, no wonder. Massacoco, Massacoco, Coco. So many K sounds. A lot of K sounds. I mean, so they're they're they going make it even funnier. They take Massachusetts, which doesn't yeah. have it has chew in it, but that's so, sort of soft compared to mat match a K yeah. or whatever. They we're just we're say. we're three minutes in. We've had a lot of jokes. How are we going to continue to make this funny? Yeah. Uh, let's throw some K's. Let's not, not, not pronounce Massachusetts the way it should uh, be. Yeah. Add some more K's and now it's funny. So mm-hmm. th- they have, they know better. They know that they can't mm-hmm. ride this Massachusetts isn't that great. That's the joke. They have to add more jokes to it. They've got to build on that. And then you get a pyramid scheme of jokes. Yeah. Right. The mass choose like the mass and mass produce, but without produce. So now he's just spelled it out. He, yeah, he corrects them, and he, quite frankly, if you can see this, he looks pretty annoyed with these girls. Right. He's for like, spelling guys, it wrong. you got it wrong. The girls uh-huh. have a sour face because they're, they're going, well, we just did our best. Yeah, we're trying to spell things for you, and, and that conflict is mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, so now we've created a dr- dramatic piece comedically in yeah. the middle of a song of like a this funny is a song. big this is layers upon layers now yeah. this uh, another layer here is he's going it's mass a chew mass a chew as in mass in mass produce but without produce now that is the silliest way you could possibly describe how to say it yeah no one's thinking it's ridiculous mass produce now the only way to make this funnier would have been to say it's mass a chew as in mass and mass suicide, like that wouldn't fit lyrically, right. but wouldn't that have been funny? Because like, who would or, have thought of mass suicide? Yeah, mass or, or something yeah. with more K's is like a massive cuckoo bird or something. Right. Yeah. Right. Cuckoo birds are good to cuckoo throw in. Cuckoo birds are funny because yeah, it's the funniest kind of, and it has cuckoo right in it, which is literally another word for funny. And they're also the fact that the cuckoo bird has been distinct. Mm-hmm. is great because they won't get offended. That's right. They can't hear us because they're long distinct. Next. Paradise on Earth. Here okay, again, it brings we it back. If we weren't stopping every time, you would have just let that fly by, and you would have been like, uh, "That's fine," and it's yeah, a nice break uh, from all the laughter yeah, I've been doing. That's right. It's a, <laughs> there, there's Clear a thing up of the tears. Yeah, but it wasn't that funny. Just now, it's just re- repeating yes, stuff. That's music for you. Yeah, that's the danger when you come into doing music with comedy or comedy with music. Mm. Is that sometimes you have to follow the music rules mm-hmm. which are very rigid and mm-hmm. very repetitive yeah and it's a repetitive culture yeah. and repeating things over and over just makes them sound dull when you just repeat and repeat it just you're going nowhere yeah. you're just repeating you're, same stuff. you're saying, repeating it over and over you're saying the same thing over and over again you're repeating it you're not saying anything new you're just going about the yeah. same thing. So it becomes useless because of all this repetition. People are like, right. I get it. Please move on. But no, you just continue and continue to repeat. And really, what all this repetition seems repetitive. Right. And it can almost become annoying if it wasn't in a song because you're going on and on and on about the same idea. And, you know, in the song, it, there's a nice melody, but, mm-hmm. you know, without and that, you're just repeating and repeating and repeating. In simple speech, you want to avoid repeating and avoid repetition. It's called redundancy. You don't want that. Yeah. You Re- don't want it because... Don't want to repeat redundancy because yeah. that just becomes... Re- a repetition. A repetition of redundant And it's the same things. thing and the same... And it's this concept that they've already dealt with. They've already done, but yet they're saying and they're doing it, it again. again and again. And again. And almost relentlessly, over. almost like just when you think that they couldn't possibly repeat themselves again, they they'll do it more. They'll repeat more right. and more, and and everyone, everyone's sitting there going, "Okay, get we get it, we get it, we get it." Massachusetts is yeah. so great. Yeah. Why are you repeating this? Yeah. Why are you saying it again and yeah. saying it again? Well, and in this song, it works. That's really what they're doing. They're just saying it over and over again. Right. Or singing it 
or Which sing it. In the really. song, it works. It's a singing, saying, rep- repetition right. thing. Sing, mm-hmm. say, back and forth, and repeat. And, and they'll rinse repeat and it. repeat. Yeah. Right. And then it becomes redundant. Yeah, it becomes redundant when you keep repeating the same concepts. People already understand them. Right. Stop They've repeating heard them. It. They've heard yeah. them. So you don't need to repeat it. If they wanted to hear it again, they could go back and they could they rewind. rewind. They could listen to the beginning of the song. It's self-induced repetition. Right. Can they just could, okay, happen. I want to I relive that. I want to hear yeah. it again. But instead, they've repeated repeated it yeah. so it's a it's another repetition of the same thing exactly they, and that they keep on repeating it it becomes a redundancy yep right so that's what they've done there. that's what they've done next yeah massachusetts okay we're getting now i right like now. that part i like the uh, that snapping comes in you get mm. a little jazzy in there yeah. and you get hmm. it's a it's a it's a it's what we call in music a breakdown Nice. I don't. I don't want to take the music out of the magic out of music, but I know that's, a bit about music that's a too. Thing, eh? Yeah, it's called a breakdown. I like it. Paradise on Earth. Boston City skyline, or a picnic in the park. Digging out the nightlife. Suddenly, it's like an autocock. <laughs> See, and there, there it is. Whoa. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Whoa. Okay, we yeah. asked the question: Is is gay funny? Now it is. Now it is. Now it is. Uh, thank you, Yulvis. It's for, funny. For the surprise comedy uh-huh. with that part, because he's just, again, with the repeating, and they're just saying things over and over. I'm, and then, spending, time in, boom. I'm spending time in Massachusetts. Things are kind of... Uh, picnic in the Park, by yeah, the way. Yeah, sounds nice. Picnic in the Park. Yep. It's funny, and it sounds nice. Uh, suddenly, I'm sucking on a C word. Yeah. Well... Big old cock. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did that happen? Yeah, when, when how did that happen? Apparently in Massachusetts, it can. Kevin, how does that happen? It's a like joke and it makes us like, laugh. Tell the, how does that happen? It can only happen in Massachusetts according to this hilarious repetitive song. Well, hopefully for that lifestyle, it happens other places if that's what they're, you know. Whatever, yeah, because then they, that would be great for them. For them if that's their thing. If all of a sudden, boom, some, they're some having it. Going on. Massachusetts, greatest state of all. That's right. Just because you're kissing a man doesn't make you gay. Now, then they describe literally uh, a gay act. Right. Just because you're kissing a guy, another yeah. guy, doesn't make you gay. So it implies that you're a guy first, kissing yeah. another guy. Uh, and then the the black choir. I don't know if people would have heard that, but they go confused. Oh yeah. They don't yeah. know what, their own sexuality. What's exactly. going on with that? Exactly. Um, now, I don't know if this is telling of Massachusetts uh, in particular, and maybe, maybe you know they they kind of get that joke a little bit more because mm-hmm. they are kind of confused about yeah. where they stand in, in those regards, and that's fine. They can use art to explore that space. and. But, like, this is the other thing about that line, and I don't want to be nitpicky, but it's, like, I think they think it's funny this mm-hmm. is a great song, and I don't want to come down on it, but I yeah. think they think it's funny because just because you're kissing a guy maybe does mean you're gay. Like, that's yeah. what they're inferring yeah. to me. Uh, but uh, the thing is that, like, uh, in the movie Brokeback Mountain, sure. you had Heath Ledger mm-hmm. and Johnny Jake, Drillin, or Jake Drillenhall. Jake. Yeah. And these guys were, like, making out like crazy. Yeah. Like, they're kissing with tongue and everything like that. Mm-hmm. They're petting each other. They're totally in. but mm-hmm. those are both one guy one's, spits on his hand one spits on one of them's dead mm-hmm. and the other one is i don't think is gay at all so they were kissing each other in this movie and i don't think they're gay but one of them was dead one of them's dead he oh yeah he's dead. He's, uh, currently dead i right. thought there was no a, they were both alive in the movie i thought it was like a sixth sense thing no no no, no no that would i'm talking about the actual actors right they're kissing each other not they're not gay no like i said he thought oh, yeah. ledger's dead so there's actual evidence of this this is not this being state- true no this statement being true well the, I, that's, that's just what i meant the statement being true and then yeah, therefore not funny because the comedy exactly. would be found in that in the falsities in the fa- of yes. life I'm co- hey but i think the comedy is also found in the fact that this guy's going, hey, uh, just because I'm kissing a guy doesn't make me gay. He's in denial. Yeah. And I yeah, think it's the it, denial. And that's funny because. The overcompensation he's done before. You know, Shakespeare said, to thine own self be true. And to be true to thine own self. Exactly. Like he flipped it around. And so when you don't, when you don't do those self-truthness things, mm-hmm. that's funny. It's funny. Mm-hmm. And you see that happen I'm all the way. I'm lying to myself. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. Shakespeare, who was whatever BC, mm-hmm. all the way up until now, it's still funny that he points that out. That yeah. when when you can tell that someone is, you know, a big burly football player, right. it's funny when they're in that little pink tutu. And it's called Shakespeare called it the comedy of errors. Yep. And the- Now is that another non sequitur? Right, I think I think it was Mayflower. I, I, yeah. Pilgrims came. By the way, when I watched Lion, Lion King, King, cry. And uh, that's the that just juxtaposition mm. of something as as important and yeah. historical as the Mayflower landing, yeah. mixed with the Disney film The Lion King, right. which has a scene that is in a lot of movies where a father figure dies. Right. Uh, Star Wars. And FYI, it doesn't matter when lions die. No. And I think they're bringing that up. Like, who cares? It's li- lions die all the time. They're exactly. not people. It's pretty funny that he cried that much yeah. when he dies because it's just a lion. It's just a lion. The song or the show even talks about the circle of life is a big it's theme a- in the in the Lion King <laughs> yeah. show. And you care because they're anthropomorphized. Yeah. Now a lot of people it. don't know what that is, and we shouldn't. This is a not really about that, but. Anaphorosizing is when you t- put human characteristics yeah. on an animal. It's when you get Darth Vader to give the voice of the uh, Lion King father, mm-hmm. uh, Mufasa. Mufasa, D- uh, not doing the breathing bit. No, but they he's cut this, that part just in. this big voice. Yeah, and uh, you know, you go, wow, I love this person. I, or it's well, yeah. well, sorry, it's not a person. It's, it's a lion. Oh, what am I it doing was a here? Lion. Yeah. And you got to realize that it's a lion, and beyond being a lion, it's a cartoon. Mm-hmm. So if it dies. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, and therefore, that's funny, funny, funny it's right funny. there, because he shouldn't be crying. He shouldn't be crying, and he's really he better. He's nailed it. They, yeah. These Yulvis has <laughs> nailed it in this. Nailed you know it. that. Who has never seen a hawk and a bone? I wanna sit on your lap. So he mentions some landmarks. City Hall. Boring. We've all seen them. Yeah. They don't even have tennis court here. And why, have... where's the punchline to that? Yeah. You know, well, here it is. You ever thought, seeing Hunk, th- I once thought to myself, want to sit on his lap. And they're playing off the gay thing again. Again. And I think yeah. that they added that in there because they knew, once again, we can't drag out this Massachusetts is funny. Yeah. Because it's not that great for the whole thing. So we and needed to add another as element. As an of audience on. member... You might be expecting them to go back to it, but they're like, surely they're just going to say landmarks. No, nope. a weird moment on the bus. Yeah, I want... Oh, what a and hunk. on the bus, meeting someone on the bus just seems like not a normal, typical, yeah. romantic setting. Right. This isn't your everyday Meg it's Ryan. Club. It's not your Meg Ryan, Tom Hanks romance. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got mail. You find right. love in the mailbox or you find it in Seattle, mm-hmm. but you don't find it on the bus mm-hmm. in Massachusetts. Right. Uh, maybe online, maybe in a club, yeah. maybe maybe on the top of the Empire State's building, mm-hmm. um, maybe on a cruise. Yeah, maybe on a cruise boats. Usually it's when you're out and about that that's going to happen, but mm-hmm. not usually on a bus because this is public transportation and the people yeah. on those buses. They're sad um, As Levi, if you want to listen to the back date. Yep. Uh, Levi mentioned a lot of people on his bus were Indian people. Mm-hmm. You know, um, w- that would have been fine if you like Indian girls. But if you don't, yeah. you're not going to really be meeting people on a bus. Or Indian hunks. But yeah. Or e- Indian hunks. And they're often small Indian mm-hmm. people. I don't know if hunk would be appropriate. Right. Cutie. Little cutie. Yeah. Little in- indie cutie. Indie mm-hmm. spice. Yeah. But, but. a little bit of a, cu- a, curry, cu- a curry, curry cu- cutie. Yep. That's why that line was funny. Mm-hmm. This is the big ending. This is a huge ending. Uh, by the way, we saw the the gay guys looking at the other gay guy. Well, they're not gay. The the, the, the bus two pe- people, the people in the truck, the, the blue truck. truck. You gotta watch the, blue the truck video. Is back. Yeah. Um, and the I wish cheerleader. We should have done, you know what? I wish we had done like a video podcast of this. Oh. And so we they, we could have shown the little clips from the video and then talked about them. That would have been a good idea. <sighs> anyway, hindsight's twenty twenty, eh? It's perfect. Um, but uh, yeah, so they're looking at each other and you see them sitting there. The big ending and you're reminded 
of that awkward just, situation yeah, where they're, they're just buddies. And there it is. Yeah. But they're kind of looking at each other not really comfortably. Yeah, they're not lyrically funny. It's not musically no. funny. It's actually musically brilliant. Mm. Um, and this is going to be the big last note. And we're just going to let you savor it. Mm-hmm. Um, Listen to that. You can download the song on iTunes. And then tell us what you think of the very last note as a little bit of homework. Yeah, that's a little. This is a special episode, so if we you want to do not it, quite an assignment. I'll call it bonus marks. Yeah, bonus marks for you know this last note and how it made you feel. Yeah, feel it. Yeah. Feel it with us. Did you laugh? Did you laugh or did you go? This is just darn good. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> All right. <let's... laughs> All right. Unbelievable. That Whoa. was great. That Whoa. was just powerful. Well, I hope you learned something mm-hmm. about uh, Yilvis, but about comedy. Comedy. And, and, and we want to thank Yilvis for helping us. Yes, thanks, Yilvis. Uh, let us know uh, if we left anything out. Uh, give us an email. Yeah, Yilvis, uh, kick us an email and, and let us know what we might have missed yeah. uh, in your song because there's a lot of comedy. And anything some that of the you visuals we maybe didn't mention. Yeah. Uh, people are going to see those and enjoy those of the, on their own. And, They're going to be great. It's nice to have a little bit of surprise for them, yeah. uh, for the viewer. Uh, only 6 billion people have watched this, so that leaves yep. a lot more people. And some of our students, I'm sure, sure. haven't yet can, seen we it. We can spread it out. It, it might go viral. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. That will help them out a lot. Um, and so, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy the video. Uh, thank you for listening again. Yep. Uh, the JK Twitter.com, J K Round, Facebook.com, J K Round, J K Round, the J K Round at, at gmail. gmail.com. There you go. Um, yeah, thanks for listening to the bonus episode and have a great weekend. And class, your bonus class. It's dismissed. Thanks for coming in.